Hello, everybody, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe. We are back again in my old location where I was last week for our Tortured Poets Department review. But again, wherever I go, you come with me. So it doesn't matter where we are. We're still going to be talking about Taylor Swift. And we actually have quite a bit of things to discuss, starting off with Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey being spotted on a little date night in Los Angeles. Again, they have been very quiet, very much on the down low since Taylor dropped her album. We talked yesterday about her and Travis's double date weekend with Bradley Cooper and Gigi Hadid, but we got absolutely no pictures of it, no footage. The only reason we know about it is because Donna Kelsey kind of spoiled it for everybody and said that she received a picture of the foursome together. But other than that, we had no idea they were together. She's really been under the radar, doesn't want anybody to see her, which is a little interesting, kind of, I don't know, it's it's unique for an album rollout, certainly. But we have had a Tavis spotting thanks to some fans who caught them out to dinner on Wednesday night in Los Angeles, sitting on the same side of the booth, which, you know, there was a lot of discourse back when Taylor was dating Joe Alwyn about a particular photo that went viral of Joe taking the booth and Taylor having to sit in the chair with her back facing the rest of the people. And a lot of people had a lot of thoughts about the seating situation. A lot of people felt like Taylor should have gotten the booth and Joe should have taken the chair. It was kind of Honestly, it was kind of funny when that whole discourse was going on. But with Taylor and Travis, it it sounds like they just like to sit next to each other all the time, which is very, very cute. There's also been a lot of rumors floating around that Taylor and Travis may be going to Patrick Mahomes' charity golf tournament in Las Vegas this weekend. So uh, Patrick's Charity Foundation 15 and the Mahomes is having a charity golf tournament and then also like a gala event where they're going to, I think, auction off stuff and all that kind of stuff. And he does these types of things a couple times a year. Um, Patrick, or no, Travis actually went to Patrick's last 15 in the Mahomes event. Um, I believe it was last year, right before he went to Argentina to see Taylor Swift perform. So we know that there's there's been, there's a track record of Travis attending these events. We also know Travis loves to play golf. He's a big fan of golf. And I think there's a high likelihood that we could see certainly Travis, but there's a lot of people that feel like Taylor Swift will be in attendance as well. They're to support Patrick and Brittany. Uh, and maybe we'll see Taylor and Travis at this gala together. If we do, boy, we will have stuff to talk about on Monday. But I just want everyone to just keep your eyes and ears eyes and ears peeled because there might be some content coming this weekend. But I also don't want to be, you know, speaking about something that maybe won't come true. I guess we'll have to see. Taylor also confirmed herself again. We know she's a massive Chiefs fan, right? She's proven that over the course of the last year that she is she is devoted, she is dialed in, she is committed, but she's taken her fandom up to another level because now Taylor Swift is out here liking Chiefs Instagram posts about the NFL draft. So last night was the NFL draft and the Chiefs selected in the first round wide receiver Xavier Worthy out of Texas. He is extremely fast. I think has officially clocked the fastest time in the NFL combine ever. He's very good. And he's just another weapon that Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs are going to have next year to go for that three-peat. And a lot of fans spotted that Taylor Swift liked the Chiefs post of Xavier finding out that he has been the Chiefs pick, celebrating with his friends and family. And that's just when you know that you're a diehard fan is when you get invested and committed in the draft options. I also feel like Taylor's the kind of person who understands. I think she's fully dived into the Chiefs, well, football in general. I think she really now like loves the game and has gone gone deep in, into it. And I think she probably understands and recognizes that the Chiefs having a very fast wide receiver is going to only do positive things for Travis because now defenses are going to have to be obviously watching out for the super fast receiver. And that might free Travis up to get a few more yards, touchdowns, etc. So love seeing Taylor interacting with Chiefs content because I just, I feel like she's, she's me. 
to be totally honest, because I'm a, di- a diehard Chiefs fan. So loved seeing that. And then finally, the last news story of the day that we're going to touch on is um, some reporting that's come out that Taylor Swift is ready to move on from all of her Kim Kardashian drama. So as we obviously know, Thank You Amy came out last week with the Torture Poets Department, a song that I think we all know is about Kim K. We've kind of gotten Kim Kardashian's side of the story through sources that she's over it. She wants Taylor to move on. Well, now there's some sources. It is Us Weekly, so take it with a grain of salt. But according to Us Weekly, Taylor has moved on and is not looking back. The song is her final word. And honestly, I kind of feel like that's true. We don't know if it's true and we don't know who this source is. But I think we. she even told us at the end of the album, basically like, this story is now yours. This chapter of my life is closed. And it's we're now moving on. And I feel that way about not just the Kim Kardashian situation, but everything. I feel that way about her past relationships that she had when she was younger and, and all these other times. I feel like she is now saying like, I, I'm done telling these stories of my life and now we're moving forward to new stories. So I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we don't hear songs about any of her past relationships situations ever again. Maybe there'll be some like alluding to moments and like aspects of songs that maybe kind of could be about past things. But I feel like for the most part, she's just going to move on to her next stage of her life and the things going on in her life in the very current moment, which I'm excited for. Also, sorry, I didn't even think about talking about this, but now I'm realizing it. Taylor released another YouTube short Fortnite challenge um, video of her preparing for the tour. And it looks like she has been rehearsing a tortured poets department era because it looks like there's new costumes. There's a portion of the, of, of the video where she's on a railing and it looks like the railing spells out the TTPD logo. I think I said this week, I didn't know if we were going to get a torture poets department era, but I think we're going to get a tortured poets department era, which means that we're going to probably lose some songs from the set list because I can't really imagine her performing much longer than she already is performing. So I kind of think she might have to cut some songs here and there. I wouldn't be surprised if the Folklore Evermore sets get reduced a little bit, or maybe she like mashes up the songs a little bit more to kind of like speed that 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 up. Um, but I'm very curious to see what she does there. And I would love to know what you guys think. If you think that video makes you think that she's going to be adding an era to the tour. And if so, what songs is she cutting? Is she cutting any songs at all? Like share all your thoughts. I want to know because now I am going to be, I mean, I'm, I was already going to be dialed into her first show back on tour, but now I am going to ve- very much be dialed in because I'm very curious to see if there's an era and if so, what song she adds, what song she takes away, et cetera, et cetera. All right, guys, that is it for today's show. As always, please subscribe to our channel if you love Taylor Swift, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.